money for the governor's security in his presidential campaign. Action News Jack's Jake Stofan reports security costs have nearly doubled over the past three years. Florida taxpayers spent roughly $9.4 million this past fiscal year on security for Governor Ron DeSantis, the First Lady, and the First Family. The figure also includes the cost of security at the governor's mansion. But security for the governor himself was the largest expense by far, and the price tag has been growing rapidly in recent years. From mid-2020 to mid-2021, the state spent $3.8 million protecting the governor alone. The following fiscal year, that cost increased to $4.8 million. And this past year, it ballooned to $8 million, representing a roughly 70% year-over-year increase. Democratic State Representative Anna Escamani argues the recent spike in security costs is a direct result of the governor's bid for the presidency. We could be spending this money and helping Floridians you know, with their cost of living. Instead, we have to spend it on security for our governor because he refuses to resign while he runs for president. In a statement, the governor's office attributed the rising costs to increased threats, saying, quote, his record as the most effective conservative governor in American history has also earned him an elevated threat profile, and FDLE has increased the number of protective agents to ensure the governor and his family remain safe. But UNF political science professor Dr. Michael Bender argues there's no doubt the governor's elevated profile is inextricably intertwined with his presidential aspirations. I'm not sure that there is anybody who has a reasonable assessment of politics in Florida that doesn't think the previous year or even two years of legislative policies uh, have anything to do but with him planning a, a run for national office. So these are all tied together. Binner predicts the cost of the governor's security could be even higher next year, depending on how far DeSantis takes his campaign into the presidential primary. For local coverage you can count on, I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jax.